Hey, welcome back everyone to Season 5, and we are on Week 5 here in the competition series on the channel. And we are the weekend prior to the new release of Emerald Coast coming out on this coming Tuesday, so this will probably be the last time we don't spend any time in Australia anyway. <laughs> it will probably be on Australia quite a bit. For this week on Week 5, we are here on Quattro Kalinas. And we are after the Basit Ibex with the M1. Been a long time since we've got that out, so that's pretty cool. We can get in the top three one more time this season with this week and the next three weeks. And we can get that Sniper Award, which is for the longest shot, single shot on a male Ibex with all the harvest checks passed. So we'll be able to do that one more time. The Jackalope Award, which is for the smallest male, we cannot take part in that. I mean, we can go for it, but we cannot win that award as we've already won that twice this season. Each award can be won twice in a season. Top three, the Jackalope and the Sniper. So that's where we are at, and we are on Quattro, where there are a lot of trophies to be had. Hopefully we'll get a lot of good luck. There's a lot of good species here. Glad to be here. It's a very full map. Lots of, lots of species to look for at any time of day. So... Um, before we get into Australia next week. This is kind of a good map to practice on, actually, so that'll be pretty cool. I hope you all enjoy the video. Let's see what we get into this week. Let's get to it. All right, well, we're gonna try for a long shot for our first attempt here. And this is about render for this location. Let's see if we can start with this one. Ooh, got a hit. Oh, he's dropping right now. That should be a vital. Let's go check it. Well, here we go. I think currently we're just on the first day that the sniper's sitting in the 430s. So this is a 454.35. Not quite what we had ranged or marked. It's a little bit off, obviously. Maybe up to 10 yards or so. But here we go. We've got our harvest check pass. So you do that that uh, m1 does have quite a bit of drop because i am pretty high and still hit the top of the lung so there we go that's gonna give us something to start with here at 454.35 so we know where we need to be anyway and we'll get our screenshot and let's get this guy entered all right let's see get this guy here try to lay down a bit Give him a try with the M1 from that distance. Oh, I think I just hit him in the head. <laughs> oh, well. You've got to aim high with this M1. Man, I haven't used it in so long. It's bullet drops crazy on it. Well, we've got one in the bush right there. We're going to take a blind shot because it doesn't really matter. There he is, let's see if we can get into a vital. I think we hit him, I saw the horns flinch. Hard to tell if we hit him in the head or where, but let's go see what's going on. Probably hitting all of them in the head now. As you can see, we are here where we took these two, I thought I had probably two headshots but we can see one of them's vital here this is the smaller one that we took first so we'll see because i'm pretty sure he ducked his head down yeah right there oh like it's not even hitting it yeah he isn't gonna make it but that was 462 yards where we were so that's good to know we will get him out of the way yeah so that other blood stain must have been his the one we had hit that little bitty stain because we got vital here. This is the guy that was in the bush looking up at us. And we was all the way up there. So well, let's see if we got it. Yes. One shot vital 462.53. Grab that screenshot. This guy is our current longest for us. I'm not sure where the uh, competition stands. But we will take 462.53 because that's as far as I can get. Even with all that elevation at the top of that cliff. I'm still not squeezing out any more than this. Um, that's about 10 yards further than what we were across that lake on the first one. So this is uh, 
this is probably going to be pretty tough unless someone finds the right spot but we will definitely keep looking we've got a lot of time this weekend to try other than father's day i'm going to be pretty tied up on that so we are losing most of that day for sure it's pretty big There's some nice ones there this is he's stuck oh that's a big big one 198 to 231 their 191 is diamond? What is wrong with him? He's like stuck having to jump. Oh no. I don't want to see that. What's he? Ah. Maybe we'll have to come back for him. Oh man. I don't want to shoot him if he's stuck. That's just not cool. Let's see if maybe we get him alert. We can get him to break out of that whatever he's doing <laughs> oh there he is still stuck <sighs> oh there we go now we've got him a little better 172 all right buddy we'll, we'll go for that Oof, that potentially is one of the biggest deceits I've ever got my sights on. Let's check it out. Wow. Let's see here. A 232 on the weight, but he is diamond a 199.7. No super, super monster, but they got to be a 191. And he is a diamond, though. That's what we were after. Man, that, that he had some potential there, that's for sure. But what a beautiful, beautiful animal. Get that screenshot of that diamond. It's always a good time hunting Ibex because it's they just almost always give you a shot at a diamond sooner or later. They, uh, they definitely diamond more often. Probably one of the easier species to diamond, I would say. At least in my opinion. Uh, you can almost drop into any map if you're able to check all the species and, and if you know where to look you can almost find one somewhere if it's not too heavily hunted that's for sure we've got our diamond 199.7 and that's gonna give us an opportunity to get up into the top three we'll see where how we feel about that by the end of the week but we are looking for those trophies we're gonna hunt these ibex and we're gonna hunt all of them i'm gonna be trying to hunt everything wherever we can but right now we're on the besiege for sure and uh, I can't wait to get some of the other species get a chance whenever their drink times are up. But the Ibex drink time is right in the middle of the day, so lots of maps have it set to that for sure. All right, well, we are on one of these lakes, and we found another five over there. He's just kind of walking. You see the gray one there? Let's see where he sets up shop. Now, he's a 165 to 198, and again, they got to be 191, so... Not quite the estimate of our first level five we had a while ago. I know to you all this is probably not gonna be a while ago. <laughs> but let's work our way around here. And get a nice broadside on him. Alright, well here we are. Man, there's a tiny little two. 61. He'd have a good chance at winning Jackalope, maybe. Might have to try to get him down if we get a chance just to see where he lands let's get this guy before he moves like his friend there uh, I don't let's get rid of that Argus okay the little guy's gonna move and he's gonna move too we'll get him well we we're able to mark his friend there but we put him straight down that was very nice. Let's see if we can. No. All right, let's go check this guy out. All right, let's see here. Let's see if this big boy made it. Give us our second chance. Yes, 197.7. Fantastic. Wow. 234 on the weight. 161 yards right there. We catch both of those lungs. That's awesome great have another diamond in the lodge 
prior to the update coming this week with the M1. 197.7, we dust off the M1. It comes out here, gets a double Besiet Ibex weekend. You can't ask for more than that. That is awesome. Well, I just got my heart racing for a minute. Almost thought we had a shot at a super rare. Look at that Ronda. Oh man, an albino Ronda goes up to 102. They gotta be 107. Uh, oh my goodness, but still what a monster of an albino. Let's get up here and get a good shot on him. But that beast of an albino right there. To me, it's pretty rare extra rare to find a rare in the ibex they that does not happen very often for me and it's rarely ever a male so this is fantastic oh we got him alert but not him all right let's go with this guy i'd like to see him stop over there give us a chance to popping over. All right, let's get the albino. Yeah, I couldn't, he turned on us. He's down, oh man, here he is. Look at this guy, golly, how close could he have been? Oh man, a super rare Ibex, are you kidding me? That would have been awesome. But here he is, the albino, so close. Oh, he was right at the top of his score up there. 102 just five points away from being a diamond albino ronda ibex super rare oh man that would have been insane but man what a beautiful gold rare that is what an awesome trophy to come away with i have wow I, I don't even have the words i always i don't always see albino but when i do it's always a female and I never see any males. And if, if I ever see a male of any of the Ibex as a uh, rare, they're usually teeny tiny. So to get a big gold rare, that is something special to me. Wow. Well, I came up on a herd of Rondas here, but there's a four that has potential of making it. I got him there. I'll pop up and get him real quick. Oh, he almost stopped on me where I couldn't get a shot off. Whew. All right, good deal. Let's go check him out. Yeah, he was right there when we came around that little bend of that little hill. Oh, he's still just a gold. A 102.52 again. They got to be um, 107. So, 102.52, about what our albino was. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I was just trying to do the daily hunt uh, club challenge of shooting, I think it's five between the time of 10 and 1400. And I just saw this guy running, I'm like, oh, he's a big one. And I just shot him and did not make vital with the seven millimeter. As you can see, he's a gold and we did not get that harvest check, which means he was a diamond. He's a 92.29, they need to be 89.68, so there you go. <laughs> Messed up diamond. <laughs> it was so quick, I didn't even take time. I was just trying to put some down, didn't even think about it. That's how it goes. Can't have them all. Messed up diamond right there. As you can see, I was going after that there. High noon, harvest wildlife between 10 and 1400. <laughs> and that cost me a diamond. Well, there's a little extra cash, I guess. All right, here we go. We've got another five, but he's not gonna be bigger than 
the one we already have, as you can see right there. His max is 197. Right, let's see if we can get between him and that female's head. Yeah, I knew she was getting right when I had my breath. Oh, don't have to track, so that's a good sign. Here we go. Let's see. I oh, made it diamond 196.01 a hat trick on the Besiet Ibex for the M1 after we knock the dust off of it before the new update comes out getting this in this weekend a hat trick weekend that's pretty sweet double long no problem for the M1 30-06 keep our fingers crossed that's the thing about the Ibex you just never know they are abundant well, looking across the lake, I spotted a, just through the trees, that right there, that level 5 Grados. And he's right at the range where we can set our rifle. So I think we're going to go with the 7 millimeter here. Make sure we get this boy down. I'm not sure if he was wanting to take a step, but he is done. Whew. Let's see if we got lucky again and we can add to our... Oh, that's a big one. He looks pretty darn good right there. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. Oh! 100.04. They need to be 100.17.13 away. Oh, that's, I don't think I've ever been that close on one of these, that's for sure. I haven't been trolled like that. Ugh, that's all right. They are my favorite Ibex. I just, I just love the way they look. Their horns are just wicked. I love them. They look great. <sighs> Onward and upward, I guess. Can't have them all. Oh, man, well... I think you can almost see him right there, but there, yep, there he is. That is a white wild boar, a nice albino. Holy cow, I'm not sure I've ever even seen one uh, for myself, and I'm pretty positive I do not have one. That's crazy, it might be our second rare of the weekend here. Awesome albino. They're almost done with their feed zone here, so I don't want to take too much time. I think we'll go ahead and get the, uh, oh, made him attentive. Let's get our seven millimeter here. Oh, got it in the wrong slot. Get that seven millimeter. Let's get him down. What an awesome trophy. It's gotta be a gold. I certainly hope. Not even taking the time to check his score. I just know it wasn't diamond potential, but there he is, a nice white boar laying there on the ground. Whew. Nice 410 pounds on that track, which need to be 529, so he was a level 4. Let's hope he's a gold here. Oh, that is fantastic. I'm sure I don't have one of these. Albino, a 114 gold. There he is. He was a gold. Again, I didn't even check to see what his uh, range was, but 98's gold. He's a 114.87, an albino wild boar, and I'm pretty sure that's the first one I've ever had. That is beautiful and fantastic. I'm, I'm sure that's the first one I've ever had. I don't remember seeing one of these guys like that. That is super cool. 164.95 yards with the 7 millimeter at that angle. We did rip through the liver and catch that off lung and put him down immediately. But man, what a trophy. Three. Ooh, that guy. Ooh, oh, 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 10 to 5 medium, 179 to 202. It's got to be 179, so 179.6, so basically guaranteed. Oh man, let's get this guy down. I'm not going to waste any time. He's already done that. Boom, dropped him. Dead right there, let's go. Oh, I was hoping to get a move one. Let's see. Let's 
see here one of my favorite species in the game and they're only on this map look at that monster surely we got the 0.6 let's see diamond 181.16 127 pounds wow what a trophy look at this guy fantastic it's been a while since we had to move on Woo. what a weekend all before emerald coast are you kidding me man we're about to have a great week hunting emerald coast all week hopefully i'll be off a few days so i'm gonna put some extra time in and here we are just keep the luck rolling right keep the luck rolling let's see what happens but man thank you all for being here and watching this is great what an awesome weekend we've had quattro has been so good to us and that's where we are going to end week five of season five here for the competition series guys right before a couple days well actually the day before <laughs> the new update emerald coast comes out i'm sure everyone's excited for that i wanted to make sure we get this out on or as soon as possible because once emerald coast hits i'm sure that's all it's going to be about for a while but for the besiege we did not make the sniper ward we were knocked out of that of course and as far as the top three we had a 199 and the top three i saw at least had 200 on their score so that kept us out of that anyway but we did come away with three diamond besiege and we got the hat trick on them those three right across the top that's pretty cool put all them together pretty happy with that um, but moving on we also got a mooflin which i was really wanting to have happen and it's been a little while so very happy to have a diamond mooflin in that lodge right there above our m1 but as you can see, the other two trophies, probably my favorites of the weekend for sure. That big old gold um, albino Ronda Ibex here on the left. Beautiful looking animal and creature that they made there. Very happy to have that. First one I think I've seen, especially that big. I haven't come across anything like that in the Ibex for sure. And then the wild boar. One of the species been in the game since the beginning. And that, I believe, and I can't think of any other reason is the first albino wild boar i have taken so what a wonderful weekend lots of firsts going on and i couldn't be more happy with these trophies to, to kind of almost basically filling out this competition log before we move on to another lodge i'm running out of plaques and this was about all i had for this mini so three more weeks left in this season before the tournament comes and we also have emerald coast lots of excitement going on looking forward to it if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to stay notified and shoot the like button to help others find the channel if you didn't thank you for watching this long back to work on the next video emerald coast until then